So whatever shapes you see here on the left side, like the advanced shapes, the basic shapes, these are not just the shapes that you can bring in. But if you were to click on more shapes right here, then you have access to different shapes as you can see just like this. For example, you can enable clip art shapes right here that you can bring in. You can enable out different um, uh, shape choices right here. So let me just go around and enable all of them like IS right here. That's like markup, sitemap, EML and so forth right here. So you can just go around and access out different shapes that may be used for different types of diagrams. So I'm just going to go around and enable these all right here. You can enable and disable the shapes that you need to access and they'll be accessible on the main area right here. So I'm just going to go around and you can see that there's a lot of shapes right here. So a lot of types of shapes as you can see right here uh, in the library. So let me just go around and then also enable out the labels right here just like this and click on OK. Once I do that over here on the left side, you can see you got access to this enormous type of shapes right here. Let's say, for example, there's science and safety and you can bring that in right here and then apply a color to it right as well and resize it, place it wherever you want. You can bring in this, as you can see right here, which is a sign. So you can see that this is a one way sign right here and so forth. You can go around with animal signs over here as well. There's like web icons over here, different types of web icon that you can bring in as you can see right here. You can also go around and bring in, let's say, for example, pump signs and so forth as you can see. So it becomes possible to create out different type of diagrams with um, diagrams.net right here because you got huge library of uh, icons right here that you can enable and disable and have access, uh, access to it. There's like Azure integration, as you can see right here. Um, there's like entity relation. There's like IS UI over here as well. So you also can technically go around and create out, let's say, uh, UI layouts right here by using this itself. So that is how you can go around and access out more shapes than uh, that is there by default inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.